It's time for the stories that are flooding the feeds, okay? Everybody is talking about Chris Rock's live Netflix special Saturday night. Okay, so clap if you saw it, if you saw Chris Rock's special. Okay, this was Netflix's first live event. Now, Chris Rock got paid $20 million for the special. He finally, finally addressed being hit in the face by Will Smith at last year's Oscars. Take a look. You know, you know what people say? They always say, uh, words hurt. That's what they say. You gotta watch what you say, cause words hurt. You know, anybody that says words hurt has never been punched in the face. <laughs> now, you know, I have to, um... I'm a comic, so I feel a certain way. This one is a little bit hard for me because I know both Chris and I know Will, and they have both been good to me. When I worked at The View, Will Smith checked on me probably every six months, and he would send me a card, a personal card, encouraging me, saying, sis, you are doing great. Um, I, have been, I have seen Chris so, uh, Will so many times. Now, Chris, he's also been good to me because Chris cast me in the movie Top Five, um, where I played his ex. And he has come to comedy clubs to see me and show support to me. But the most important thing Chris Rock did for me was he was my referral to the dating site Raya. Oh. Okay, yes, Chris was. Because if you know, like, they put you on some kind of list, but if you know, like, a celebrity, and Chris at the time was on radio, so I said, Chris, can you be my, you know, celebrity referral? He was like, yeah, sure. So, Chris, I appreciate that you were my referral, but you still got to finish your part of the application. <laughs> so, Chris, in between all of the stuff you doing, can you just answer the phone when Raya calls to confirm that I'm a real person? <laughs> So right now, talking about, I feel like I'm a child in a custody battle. Do, you know, when, the, when your parents are fighting. The one thing as a comic, I am very glad that Chris brought this to the stage because this is what we do as stand-ups. When you're going through something, the first thing you say is, I'm gonna take it to the stage because you can, you can talk it out. It's called stage therapy. Yeah. When I was going through infidelity in my life, I, the first thing I thought was, when I get on stage, you gonna hear this. I, this singers express themselves in songs. Taylor Swift will never talk about a breakup, but she writes about it and you hear it in every lyric of her songs. So it is the same thing that comics do. When people say, well, why he got to do it? That is what a comic does. We take the issues we have in our life, we go to the stage. Do you know how hard it must have been for Chris Rock not to say anything at all? He's been silent this whole time. He's been working on this material. If you've seen Chris in any, uh, he's done three tours since that slap. If you've seen him at all, he has alluded to it. He's been working on material about it. So I appreciate that fact. And I just, but you don't know, but you know you have to clap. But I, I did want to say uh, it, what I agree with Chris. Can you imagine if Chris Rock and Will had started fighting on that stage? I'm very glad that, that Chris Rock took the L and he did not do anything. That is, I am really... Because somebody had to be the, the bigger person. Because can you imagine if it was two black men fighting in front of the world on the Oscar stage, just like Chris Rock said in a funny way, they would have shut the whole Oscars down. Like, they would have shut it. Viola, you can forget about that next Oscar. You wouldn't have been a, I'm telling you, Lapita, they would have sent you right back home. They would not... Everything would have been shut down. And so it, it, they'd have been like, is this the Source Awards too? So they... <laughs> I'm so glad he took the L, but in that moment, in that moment, you have no idea what you would do. We can say what we think we would do, but we don't know until that happens. And I just was, I was thinking about it as I was watching Chris Rock. And I said, now, if I was on stage hosting, hosting the Oscars, and somebody, because he talked about Will being bigger than him and him being little, and I said, if Queen Latifah had come on that stage... <laughs> Now, and I wasn't talking, not this Queen Latifah, that Queen Latifah. <laughs> Clea. The equalizer? The equalizer. Because I'm telling you, I'm sure that's, that's what Queen Latifah would have looked like walking up to me, slapping me. And I'm thinking because, you know, a lot of times you think, what, what do I have to lose? If Queen Latifah had slapped me, I'm telling you, I'd have fell right on that floor. <laughs> <laughs> and the first thing, you always go, well, you know, when somebody slap you, you get that look like, wait a minute, did they just slap me? <laughs> did they slap me? Then after that, I literally, I would have been on the floor
going on, what I got to lose? What do I have to lose? What? And then if the thought would have come to me, I'd have been like, oh, my neck, my back, my, and my crap. They, this is what Chris Rock should, he should have done. They would have had to roll me out of there. <laughs> on a wheelchair and I'd have had a neck brace on. I'm telling you, them Oscars would have been called the Sherry's. <laughs> I'm t- so I am so I am so glad that he finally finally spoke out about what he was feeling. You could feel that energy. And I think and it was so funny because he talked about how tiny he was that you know Will Smith you know picked on him because he was tiny. Because there's only really two tiny comics in the industry is Kevin Hart and and Chris Rock. So you know it was it, look how little he is. <laughs> So he had to redeem himself in front of his family because this is history. This will never go away. This is a part of history. And he had to speak on it. And he had to speak to his daughters who watched it. Because I'm telling you, as a woman, it would be really hard to date Chris Rock knowing he got slapped and didn't say nothing. (laughs) So he had to address it. And Chris, I can't think of a better way for you to redeem yourself than to collect $20 million (laughs) while you were doing it. $20 $20 million. Let me tell you something. It's something to be said about being a comic, because like I said, when I had infidelity, I got on stage and I got a sitcom from it, what, what I was going through called Sherry. So you do your thing, Chris Rock. It was time. And the one thing I want to say to Chris Rock, can you please, when Raya calls you, just answer the phone, Chris, so I can get on this dating app. But Kim Kardashian found a friend to work out with, and that is Kelly Rowland. Yes, she did. So she wrote, there's nothing like working out with friends to keep you motivated. (laughs) So they're over here taking selfies. I love that they're in the gym, but if you look at it, there is not a drop of sweat on either (laughs) one of them. No sweat coming off of nobody. Let me, uh, okay, I'm like, what is going on here? Because when I work out, I get down to business. I don't have time to coordinate outfits. (laughs) Look at that, freaking. like I'm hurting <laughs> at the gym. When you at the gym, it's not about being all cute. And I, this is how I know Kelly and Kim ran out of places to take a selfie. <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you why. Look at Kelly's hair. Her, Kelly's hair is not even in a ponytail. <laughs> you know you put your hair in a ponytail when you work out. So I don't know what kind of workout they was doing. Kim got on gloves. Now you know she don't look like she lifted one weight <laughs> in that daggone picture. If you look at, look, Kim's boobs are falling out of shirt, so I know they didn't do any cardio. <laughs> not at all. And they both looking like they're posing for a Lululemon ad. Both of them. <laughs> Kelly got her arm up. She don't even look like she musty. Mm-mm. <laughs> But I do want to say, Kim and Kelly, thank you so much for the inspiration. I... <laughs> at least sprinkle some, you know, before they took the picture, they could at least sprinkle some water on their face so it looked like they were sweating. And that is flooding the feeds, y'all. <laughs>